we're going to be talking about chromatopsia. Chroma is color and opsia is C. So this means C color. And you can see color normally or abnormally. And if you see color abnormally, you can see no color, which we call A chromatopsia. That's no color. So patients with A chromatopsia have such bad vision that they can't see any colors. Sometimes you're born with that. That's a rod monochromat. Then you got dyschromatopsia, which means you don't see the colors correctly. So you might have congenital dyschromatopsia. That's red-green color blindness. That's the most common. 8% of U.S. males have this X-linked red-green dyschromatopsia. Or you might see things as washed out or not as red or not as bright. This is dyschromatopsia. And then you just got an unfortunate term, which is just plain old chromatopsia. And chromatopsia means you see a color, but it's not there. And so that means you can see red. It's erythropsia. I see red. And this one's important because red cells are red. And so patients who have erythropsia in one eye only, you have to look in their eye for blood. That blood can be in the front of the eye, hyphema, or in the back of the eye, vitreous hemorrhage. It makes everything look red. And then we've got xanthopsia, which is yellow vision. I see yellow. And usually this is from drugs. And the most common good drug that causes it is digitalis, digoxin. And you can get blue vision, cyanopsia. Digoxin can cause cyanopsia. Uh, Vincent van Gogh, his paintings are all yellow and blue. So some people believe he had digoxin toxin from his doctor. You can go Google that later. It's not known if that's true or not. And cyanopsia is sometimes associated with uh, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors, sildenafil, Viagra, those kinds of things. And then you got chloropsia, which is the green vision, the green vision. So mostly drugs, amphetamines, hallucinogens, things like that. Uh, red, you got to look in their eye for blood, especially if it's one eye only. But the green vision, chloropsia, is, is uncommon. And so when we have chromatopsia, it can be from the presynaptic color, which is in the retina, the photoreceptors, or it can be in the synapse between the retina and the optic nerve, like optic neuritis is caused this chromatopsia. Uh, and it could be in the cortex, which we call cerebral chromatopsia. And in your brain, the color is seen in this temporal lobe. So we've got the dorsal stream in your parietal lobe, which is the where pathway, which is for visual spatial. And then you've got the what pathway, which is in the temporal lobe, which tells you what color things are, what shape, what's the purpose of these things. And so this color thing is in this fusiform area here, fusiform, because it looks fusiform. And that fusiform area is where the color is. It's also where your face recognition is. So patients can have difficulty recognizing faces, which is called prosopagnosia. And so when you have bilateral simultaneous IC color, we'd like to know which color it is, green, red, blue, yellow. And if they see a color and it's not there, it's not real, that's a hallucination. So the visual hallucinations can occur from a number of different causes in a cerebral basis. And you can look at the video on visual hallucinations to get more information on that. And one of the things that's fascinating is patients who lose vision can end up seeing color, especially if they've lost that color. So if you've lost the color, you might make up a color in the part where you can't see. And that is called the Charles Bonnet phenomenon. Charles Bonnet, his grandfather had visual hallucinations from vision loss. So if you have vision loss, your brain makes up stuff, cerebral hallucinations. You have full insight into the unreal nature of the phenomenon. There's no delusional backstory. They can't have been on any hallucinogens. They have no DSM-5 diagnosis. The vision loss results in a release hallucinations on the cortex level that they can see as formed individuals. But sometimes it's blobs of color, which we call cerebral chromatopsia. You need to do an MRI, fusiform area, EEG sometimes necessary. Make sure it's not acceptable seizure. Got to test for the cause for the loss of vision, and if everything's negative, the Charles Bonnet.